hardware on the machine is modeled in Tool Studio, so we're able to, uh, to go through the complete um, process on the machine, uh, oh, sorry, in the Tool Studio before we take it to the machine. So here we have um, the Helitronic power machine with the wheel changer. And in the machine we have the steady rest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the fluting. We'll simulate that really quickly so we can see the flute. Okay. And then we'll zoom in. And I can show you how that works. So basically, it'll start to grind. You can see the wheel moving. It's moving up towards the steady rest. You can program the steady rest to start and stop wherever you like. In this particular case, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm starting the wheel ahead, if you can see, and then as we go down the flute, it's going to pick up the steady rest. The steady rest is going to follow down the flute, giving me maximum support, and then I can stop it wherever I want to, or when it runs out of stroke, and finish off the rest of the tool. That's pretty much how it works. Um, you can bring it up for not just the fluting, but also if we're doing the heel grind. It's the same principle. We can bring it up for the heel grind operation too. And if we're doing, uh, if we're grinding the point, um, the facet point, we can also bring it into place at the end of the tool here to support the uh, the end of the tool while we're putting the primary and secondary clearance on, or, or whatever we're doing on the end of the tool.